The Namibia Tourism Board started eyeing the Asian market around 2008, particularly China, over its population size. Since then, a number of agreements have been signed between Namibia and China, promoting trade as well as tourism. But in recent times, some Chinese nationals have been connected to crimes such as poaching of endangered animals and tax evasion, something that subsequently led to negative sentiments against them by Namibians. The 2016 tourist arrival statistics revealed that Chinese tourists were around 12,000 and NTB is to launch a marketing roadshow to the Asian country this year because we do it every second year. So in preparation for that, we need to be consulting with the Chinese ambassador as well to probably craft out a better program as to how can we create awareness around this issue as far as the Chinese nationals are concerned, because I do not think that most of them are criminals that are involved in this type of uh, activities. So one needs to really delineate between the two groupings, because our interest is more to bring the, those tourists that really would want to visit Namibia as a destination. Late 2017, the Chinese ambassador to Namibia told NBC News that his focus was to increase business tourist travels. Zhang Yiming says even though the number of Chinese visitors has slightly increased, spending habits have decreased and it's time to change gears to business tourism. I want to bring more Chinese tourists coming to Namibia. This is my, uh, this is one effort I ha I'm making now. Because China, you know, we are a country with 1.4 billion people. Every year, there are 120 million Chinese tourists traveling abroad. They spend a lot of money. So this is a huge market. The Namibia Tourism Board has a representative agency in Shanghai, China, tasked with selling the country as a traveler's dream among the Chinese and other Asian nationals. Blanche Corre says NBC News.